Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So, um, Immutable's Passport has just gone live. So, um, Passport is a uh, onboarding process uh, for Immutable's platform. Previously, it was actually fairly difficult to use Immutable, uh, at least the Immutable X blockchain. Um, you had to use sort of MetaMask and then sort of sign MetaMask into um, into Immutable. Um, and uh, it, I mean, I suppose technically it wasn't that difficult, but it was, I think, from a UX, UI, UX point of view, it was, it was a little bit weird. Um, so one of the things that Immutable has done is build out this passport. So we'll see how this works. If it works, <laughs> I assume it will. I'm not quite sure what to expect. And just say this is basically what all the games on Immutable will, will be using now. Um, and it first went live with Gods Unchained. Um, the trading card game for Immutable. Okay, so it's going to uh, stuff popping up, I guess. So, um, so we can sign in there. Um, obviously, using single sign-on using um, see either here, either Google or Apple. Okay, so I put in my email and it sent a six-digit code to my email that I had to put in. So now it's saying connect to a passport dashboard. Um, and that needs authorization. Um, so uh, I suppose we click, click on yes for that. <laughs> and there we go. So it goes into the uh, passport dashboard. Um, so we can see here this sort of, um, as well as being assume some wallet stuff here. Yeah. Um, also it works as a um, discovery uh, sort of mechanism. So there are three games that look like they are um, currently supporting it. Gods Unchained, as I said, Block It Golf, which is actually a game that's been around, wow, for um, three years now. Yeah, it's gone through various different um, different blockchains, I think, and various different forms. I played it as a mobile game, potentially even on Polygon years ago. I actually have an NFT. Um, it was called something else then, anyway. <laughs> been around too long. Um, Bleachers Report, Watch to Earn, no idea what that is. Um, Okay, but then we have these other games. So these are um, some of the games on Immutable. Uh, on Immutable, uh, actually, it's uh, ZK EVM um, new infrastructure. Um, Guild Guardians is actually developed by Immutable, or, or co-developed by Immutable. That's, so these are their sort of key games. There's Guild of Guardians, um, which is pretty good. I've played, played some of that. Shardbound, which is this sort of turn-based sort of hex strategy games, pretty nice. I played a bit of that. Metal Core, this big 3D, um, it's not quite open world, um, but sort of big landscape, sort of mecha, sort of uh, fighting game. Infinite Victory, don't know what that is. It's a soccer game, isn't it, I think? Um, and um, this another shooter one. Anyway, so that's what's going on. Um, I guess there's nothing in my inventory because I just sort of created this. Um, so I've not attached any wallet to it. So it looks like, um, so it has created a, 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 a wallet for me. So we can see here, there's an address here. Um, but there's obviously nothing in there, it's just literally created in a wallet. And this is an immutable X, so this isn't running on the EVM at the moment. Um, I don't know what this is going to do. Alert, oh, I see this is going to try and try and um, get me to spend money. So this is um, obviously logging into MoonPay, which is one of the crypto uh, on onboarding ramps. Um, what's it going to offer me? Um, nothing by the looks of things. Oh, I have to put some money in. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I <laughs> don't do that. Um, and it looks like here, I can uh, link my external wallet. So um, I do actually have some uh, immutable stuff in um, my MetaMask. So obviously if I link the wallet, um, I can use those collectibles in the game. This is saying, um, okay, so, okay, so you can't see this because it's popped up on um, a different um, screen, but I'm linking um, my MetaMask wallet. And uh, this is just telling me uh, what's going on there. So Wallet Guard is just a um, an extension you can add to your browser that just gives you visibility that you're not doing something stupid <laughs> when you're signing a transaction, like uh, getting spammed. Um, okay, so that looks like that wallet is now linked. Um, now, I don't know if it's gonna give me any inventory here. Okay, so there we go. Oh, so... Um, that's interesting. That's uh, got. I'm actually you know, just thinking. 
Um, I've got another wallet with some stuff in it, I think. Um, so here, I don't know what this one is, <laughs> an IMX airdrop. Um, swap this NFT for, a, is, this, is, is this real? <laughs> this looks like an absolute scammy thing. Uh, swap this NFT for 1000 IMX on imxclaim.com. Um, that's weird. <laughs> you think that's the sort of thing that, Im that Immutable would, uh, <laughs> would um, suggest that you shouldn't really do that. Imxclaim.com sounds pretty ropey to me, so I'm not going to <laughs> not going to do that. If it sounds too good to be true, it likely is. I think is the uh, thing we're thinking here. Uh, but I do have some block lord banners, so um, so this is in beta. It's not really showing these um, terribly well, um, but uh, these are some. Yeah, so so when block lords. A long time ago now, I had the, this banner drop, so you could buy these banners, and then if I remember right, you could use these banners to create some. Um, you could unlock some of the characters. So yeah, so I just logged into that uh, blockade golf, uh, blockade golf um, through using the uh, passport, um, and clearly, yeah, there's it has a, a wallet where you have the private keys, so that's a, a a wallet where they have the custodial rights to it. But obviously, you can it, you can have external wallets where you have uh, the keys on it as well so you sort of have a bit of be best of both worlds even though um, to some degree um, there's certain things you won't you can't do um, you, you can't obviously uh, looks like spend things um, or do trading if you want to trade things you have to bring them into your internal wallet um, obviously the other thing to point out here is there's no Marketplace in here as well, so that would obviously be something. Or maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they. Maybe the marketplace will be a separate interface, uh, and this will be. Um, you'll log into it using passport. I don't know. Hard, hard, hard to tell on that, but it would sort of make sense if you had an, an inventory here. It would sort of make sense if you could click on something here and then just um, sell it within within this screen. I mean, that would be the point. That would be the point, I, I guess, of having something like this dashboard um, that you can do your NFT stuff in here <laughs> rather than fiddling around. Um, but we'll wait and see um, how that works out. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon.